Okay, guys, we are back at it. Today, we're doing more unpacking, lots of unpacking, organizing. You're gonna see a laundry room transformation. I'm going to restock all over my kitchen, under my sink, refrigerator, pantry, laundry room. I'm also gonna be doing some decorating, pulling out all of our decor, seeing what works, getting bar stools. So a lot we're gonna be doing. I hope you're ready. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving. Welcome back to Jamie's journey. I am truly so grateful that you're here. If you are new, I just wanna welcome you to Jamie's journey. I'm grateful whether you've been here for seven years, whether you are brand new, I just want you to know that you matter and you are stronger than you realize. And I say that because I like hearing that because I know sometimes I doubt myself and I just want you to know that I appreciate you. Yes, I am talking about you. I appreciate you and you can handle whatever is thrown your way today. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Today we are getting started. This was the first official day that I was alone by myself in the new house. So all the kids were back in school. Mike was back at the office and I was alone. And even though I was a little tired, I, I don't know why, but I decided to do my first strength training exercise the day before this i have not done strength training in a long time and i was so exhausted <laughs> i was like really really sore i don't know why i did it before i had planned on doing so much this day but i'm a little sore if you guys know if you notice like when i'm bending over i'm moving a little bit slower that is why but i was so motivated to get a lot of things done so we're going to be doing um i'm going to be organizing and restocking my fridge the pantry i got bar stools and i'm pulling out my decorations from the old house and we're going to see what works and i want to talk about a few i want to get some opinions for you from you guys about um some changes here on my channel as well as decor you guys gave me so many great um, suggestions from last week's videos. I want to go over that. Um, I'm going to be making some changes in the living room. So a lot we're going to be doing today. I hope you're ready. Okay, so a first housekeeping um, things is I had asked, I think it was in my pinned comment in last week's video, I had asked about, um, for January right now, my plan is for posting just on Sundays. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do moving forward. I do wanna say that I'm going nowhere. I'm gonna continue to post on YouTube. I love cleaning videos. That is not going anywhere. I truly feel like that's my one true passion. It's what, it's one of the few things I feel like I'm good at. Um, I hope you guys think that as well, but I love cleaning. I do. And there's no other content I would rather be making than cleaning an organization. But I've just, I feel like run out of time on what I want to do. And I feel like every year, so I think this will be my sixth or going in my sixth or seventh year, sixth year of YouTube. And every year I think it's important as with whatever you're doing to reevaluate what works, what doesn't work. And 
something that I that is really important to me, number one, is this community. And I had asked in the pin comment last week, how important is our comments to you as far as me answering them? And I know you guys are going to respond and say it's not, I, I even had someone last week, they said it's not realistic for me to be able to answer every comment. And I realize that. But I will tell you, I will never stop answering comments. I may not get to everyone, but if it wasn't for you, I would not be here. So if you take the time to leave a comment, I know I may not get back to you, but I want to try my best, okay? But I do want to note from you guys, when you leave a comment on a YouTube channel, realistically, and I want to know your true opinion, do you want someone to reply to you? Like if you leave a comment on my video, do you want someone to reply? Do you really not care at all? Or is it like you leave a comment and you're hopeful for a reply, but you don't really care? I'm just, I'm just curious. And I just know I have limited time on, on the amount of comments I can reply to. And I just hate knowing that there are some people out there that I will never be able to reply to their comments. And I just, I hate that. So I don't know. Let me know. Um, as my channel grows, it just gets harder and harder to reply to comments. And I try to decide, like, where do I spend my time? Is it creating more content? Is it answering comments? And even though I want to create more content, I care more about the quality of my communication with you. So let me know on your true opinion on me replying to your comments and how important that is to you. I've been giving you the worst Now you wanna stay tonight Pity how you went caught for me By forgetting how to talk Nah, no, I don't like no humble beats Just go and slice it up Now it's time to marry me And right after we're done I like it when you look at so i got so many great recommendations for decor now I'm going to say this. Wait until you watch the whole video. Wait until the very end before you make any comments about what you're seeing me decorate now. And there's a reason why. I had some major thoughts when I started rearranging this. And I want you to hear my thoughts before you give me your opinion. Okay. Um, but my goal here with all of decorations is I want to see what works from the old house. I don't want to just buy things. Honestly, I'm one of those people that once I find like a color scheme or, um, or pieces of decor that I really love... I don't want to just give them up and I just don't want to waste things. So I'm decorating with things within my home right now and we're going to see what works. But at the very end of this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on some things that I just did and I want your opinion. So make sure you watch until the end. I am just so ready to get stocked up and organize my fridge and pantry for the first official time. It's been about two weeks since we've had groceries and I'm just ready to get back to normal life, have like a normal fridge, normal pantry, and just have everything we need. So I had made sure that I scheduled my Thrive Market box of our grocery favorites um, for our freezer and pantry. And then I also got some other grocery favorites. I just wanted everything ready to go for today since all the kids were finally back in school and I had the time to dedicate to organizing. I just wanted to be ready, get it all set in the new house. We have been kind of living life in disarray and eating out a lot, but now that we're back on track and ready for normal, healthy living, Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Just got this right market box. We got some other groceries delivered. I am ready to organize in the pantry and the fridge. I've I kind of threw everything together when we moved in in the 
um, in the pantry, but I have never organized the fridge. So I'm ready to have everything nice and organized. And when I was um, placing the order, the idea here was, like I said, just to kind of fill in the gaps, fill, fill in the holes of what we're missing out of the pantry. Um, Leading up to moving, we really started to get rid of or eat up a lot of the stuff we had in our pantry and our freezer. And now that we're in here, I'm kind of sticking to that, but of course we still need the, the things and the items that the girls use a lot, especially for um, lunches and things like that. Something else that's really important and why I love that Thrive Market makes it so easy is the girls, the twins, for preschool, they have to take prepackaged gluten-free snacks when they go. Um, it has to be prepackaged. It cannot be a sweet treat. So like I know a lot of Rice Krispie treats are gluten-free. Well, they can't take that and it has to be prepackaged. It is so hard to find prepackaged gluten-free snacks that are not sweet at all. That's why I always go to Thrive Market for the girls' school snacks because you can go in, you can filter out and see all of the snacks um, that are gluten-free and then you can choose the ones that are prepackaged. So I got them some veggie sticks, which they love. Gluten-free, prepackaged, easy to go. Um, these are also gluten-free. So I have these two ready to go. The girls requested some toasted honeyos from Thrive. We've gotten those before and just some little snacks like I said, to restock. The girls have been really into popcorn lately, so I wanted to get that. Um, I tried these out, I think last time I got a Thrive box, and I really, really like them. I've been crumpling them on my yogurt, my vanilla Greek yogurt, some stuff to make some meals um, this week, and peanut butter and jelly. This is the, well, I'll just start over here. So mac and cheese we got some mac and cheese um we're back into soccer and basketball so you know on those nights i didn't have anything planned um mac and cheese is our go-to i've never seen these before um we honestly have a lot of noodles that's why i got the rouse homemade alfredo um we already have some marinara sauce but i'm trying to switch it up and use a lot of the noodles that we have in our pantry but i saw these and i could not resist they are alphabet chickpea noodles um, and I thought these would be fun for the girls especially the twins because we can we've been working on our letters and I just think it makes and it just makes meal time a little bit more fun and we've been having a little struggle with meal times um, with the twins lately so just trying ways to make it more exciting Annie's organic all-stars so get those um, diced tomatoes for a recipe I'm making um, I'm gonna make my B-dubs, garlic parmesan, chicken, pasta recipe this week. Um, Mike loves it. Actually, Avery and Mike love it. So I picked that up. Um, we go through, we've been doing a lot of overnight oats. Avery actually had some this morning. I eat it periodically, so I stocked up on those. Um, oh, so something that I've never gotten from Thrive before, but I finally sat down and looked at some of their cleaning supplies. I got this Molly Suds sink scrub. I think I'm gonna try it maybe later tonight. Been really excited to try this, to scrub out my sink. And then this is what I was waiting for. I needed to stock up on my Aunt Fanny's all-purpose cleaning vinegar spray. I use this in a lot of different areas, but I specifically like using it in our refrigerator because it's vinegar. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I did forget because this box came earlier this morning and I'd already put these in the freezer. So these are the Kodiak Cake Power Waffles. If you watched any of my videos before or you follow me on Instagram, you know these are my favorite breakfast. I eat these almost every morning and actually Addison does too. Addison is my waffle and pancake lover. She loves waffles um, and they are by far the cheapest at Thrive Market. So I always stock up. Like I think almost... Like sometimes I'll go and place an order just for these if we don't need anything else at that time because they're the cheapest there, so I always stack up. So I think I got like six boxes this time because we go through them so quickly and they have 12 grams of protein. They have a buttermilk and vanilla flavor. And I've tried, um, a few other stores have like the off-brand version of these. I don't think they taste as good. I really like the buttermilk and vanilla flavoring. So I also stocked up on these. But I'm gonna be making a super simple, easy crock pot meal later. So stay tuned for that. And we're gonna be testing out, well, testing this out later when I clean up the kitchen um, later tonight. Um, but I'm gonna use this to clean out the fridge right now.
so I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I love Thrive Market and why I've continued to use them for almost two years in March. I was thinking back, it'll be two years in March that I've been using them. And I'll be honest, the main reason is because it makes my life easier. It comes straight to my door and it especially makes my life easier for the twins snacks for school because their snacks that they take to school have to be gluten-free and pre-packaged. And it just, it also ultimately helps us switch things up. You know, we get to stack up on healthy snacks for the girls. There's an endless amount to try out. Also pantry items, like if I'm in a dinner run and I need like pantry dinner ideas for soccer or basketball nights, I can stack up on things, try different things. And I, I guess, honestly, I didn't really know how hard it was to shop for diet specific items, but they make it so easy. Um, like I said, the twins, when they started preschool, they have to take, it cannot be a sweet treat. It has to be a healthy snack, no red dyes. It has to be pre-packaged and gluten-free. It is near impossible. And this is where Thrive Market has come in and saved my life. They also have cleaning supplies, which I got this time, not to mention Thrive Market has the Thrive's gives initiative that makes it possible for low-income families, teachers, and veterans to access natural and organic and pro organic foods and products easily. So for every paid annual membership, Thrive Market donates a free membership to someone in need. So even if you're a working parent or trying to save time, do you follow a specific lifestyle? Are you trying to get into more of a specific food lifestyle, especially here in the beginning of the year? I know a lot of people are reevaluating their exercise and food intake, or if you just need to give in and make your life easier, definitely give Thrive Market a try. Thrive Market will ultimately make your life easier, and you can also make back your annual $60 membership back in savings. And if you don't, Thrive Market will credit you the difference. You can filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite brands, whether you're gluten-free, vegan, or keto. You can shop by over 90 plus diet and values. And that's what I do when I need those gluten-free prepackaged snacks for the girls. I just go in and it, it's just an easy way to find snacks when I'm in a time crunch. If you're on the fence, just go to thrivemarket.com. You can get familiar with their site. They have an app. You can see their mission and all of their high quality products. And they have two different membership options to suit your lifestyle, whatever is better for you. They have a one month membership for $12 a month. Or what we have is the 12 month annual membership. It's $5 a month, billed at $59.95 a month. It just makes more sense for our family to do it that way. Just click on the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market. Let me know if you have any questions. Message me on Instagram. Um, I can share my favorites. Let me know your favorites and you will not be disappointed. So also in last week's video, I had asked for suggestions and I had a lot of people who were like, just do what you wanna do. And let me tell you this, oh, I will. I will, 
but something that I've noticed with myself, I get sometimes with decorations, I get too much in my head, but I get really tunnel vision. So, so many of you guys suggested I was worried that there was too much gray in the living room with the couch and the carpet and the walls. But I was like, I don't hate it. So like, what do you guys think? And a lot of like 95% of you were like, just put some pops of color in your throw blankets and throw pillows and maybe even a rug. And you guys, you know how simple that is? It, it was almost like a light bulb. I'm reading the comments on Sunday and I was like, Duh, Jamie, that's so easy, so simple. You can do that. But you know what? I never thought of that. So when I tell you I get tunnel vision, that is what I'm talking about. Like, it's almost like I can only focus on one small thing at a time. So if I'm thinking about decorations, it could be throw pillows, and I am tunnel vision with just the throw pillows. I don't think of how to pull together throw pillows and a throw blanket and a rug. And this is where you guys come in. And I mean this with love. Um, I ask for opinions and there will be opinions I will take and I will use. And there will be opinions or suggestions that I don't use. I am one of those people, you could show me a hundred pictures and I bet I only like about three of those pictures. I've found that after looking at a lot that I really don't like a lot. I'm very specific on what I like but I just have to see a picture before I like it and I need someone to kind of show me that picture or give me inspiration and in last week's video you guys gave me that inspiration and it's just uh, sometimes I don't even know what I like but this will all tie together I promise you at the end of this video um, moving that table uh, I'm not sure about it and I give my thoughts. So I just want to th say thank you for all of your suggestions because they were so helpful. It's like this is literally all from the old house, but it just was scattered throughout the house. There was cleaning supplies in every bathroom. I had cleaning supplies in the um, kitchen, in the closet off of the kitchen. I had cleaning supplies in the basement. Um, so this is pretty much all of, oh, la I had a lot in the laundry room. And this is all like laundry stuff as well. Uh, so I wanted to put it all in here and I think I'm just gonna leave it all in here. I will take a few and put it in the linen closet just so I have something upstairs. Or I think I am gonna put a caddy upstairs in the linen closet or put a caddy um, in the girls' bathrooms to have cleaning supplies in there. But other than that, I really want to utilize all of this space because it's like, what else would I put in this space? You know, like this is right off of the kitchen at the end of the house, away from upstairs. I mean, I definitely could store like extra blankets and linens in there if there's not room in the linen closet. I do have to organize that. This is where I feel like it's all like a puzzle because I'm just unpacking everything, getting stuff in, and then I'll take the time to go room to room or closet to closet and decide like what makes the most sense with things. Like I personally think it makes the most sense to put like linens in the linen closet upstairs because that's where our bedrooms are. Um, but then I have all of this space. I, I'm, I'm not complaining that I have all this space, but I'm just trying to think of like what makes the most to have stuff down here so that's why i think that if i can just kind of keep all of our laundry and cleaning products here um and then just keep linen linens in the linen closet This is why I think YouTube is so cool or a social media or a community like this is you guys can help me as well. Um, it's like I said, I just, I find myself getting tunnel vision when it comes to decorating and I was kind of shocked. I think I even said this to Mike um, earlier this week. 
I, I think that once I narrowed down what my style was in the last house, which someone told me what my style was, I had no idea what the style was. And I remember starting to, to put together a couple pieces of decorations and someone was like, I think your decor style is coastal modern coastal farmhouse and then I was like oh I've never heard of that because I'm not someone like I don't watch HDTV like that is not my thing at all but knowing what my style was then I took that and I went to Pinterest and I went online and I was able to find a ton of decorations that fit my style and I'm just one of those people that once I get something that works like that's what I want that's how I want to keep it. And so it's just, I, I found that even being in this house, I guess when I pick colors out, the grays, the whites, um, the blues and the grays and all of that, like that is like that coastal feel. And a lot of the decorations I had in the old house had started to fall into that style of decor. And so I was kind of shocked that a lot of them fit into this house, which is exciting because that means I don't have to spend a lot of money or do anything to decorate. I do have a um, someone who I had met. So our home builder has a designer who has designed a lot of houses um, for our builder. And I recently met up with her and she's going to give me a little bit of help just in small pieces like I want a clock for somewhere in the living room or the kitchen like a big clock but I want it to flow with my style and I don't really know where to go so she's going to kind of give me some pointers um, but I, I, I'm lucky and I feel like a lot of the pieces that I use in the old house will work here. I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys. A lot of you guys are in the same situation. Maybe you're moving or you're gearing up to move. And my best piece of advice when you're moving is just kind of put things where you think they should go. Like what's your first instinct? So that's kind of what I'm doing. It's kind of like a puzzle. You're trying to get everything to fit and you're going to end up moving things around. That's why there's a part of me because of who I am. I want everything to be perfect and look perfect and organized, but that's not realistic. It's not reality. Um, because you have to live your life in a specific space to decide what works. If I go and buy organ organizers for my laundry room and then realize like half the stuff in there, I'm going to move to a different room, then what good does it do to organize, if that makes sense? So I'm just trying to throw things where I think they go. And then over time, I may switch them. I may move them. And in due time, there will be plenty of time to organize down the road. So right now, I'm just trying my best to make things work. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. feels so much better. This has been kind of the room that we've just been throwing everything and obviously I have a lot of cleaning supplies so I've just been throwing them all in here. So it feels good to finally have a clean slate. So this is all the stuff that I'm gonna put upstairs in the linen closet so I'll take that up here later tonight. Um, but I have everything organized here. I just tried to organize it the best way I could and you guys have to hold me accountable. No more buying cleaning supplies. I clearly have enough. 
I did kind of go overboard when I knew we were moving because I was like, I don't know what we have extra of. So all of my essentials, I kind of just did an extra. And I think that's why I have a lot of like this stuff. Um, but it's good to know now what I have. I am not allowing myself to buy any new cleaning products until I use up what I have. Um, so I kind of did like bathroom, hand soaps, that's just some like sanitizer stuff. This is mainly like kitchen and like everyday stuff, like my DIY cleaner that I use the hydrogen peroxide primary, primarily for laundry, kitchen cleaners, multi-purpose cleaners, Clorox wipes, stainless steel, um, that so like floor cleaners down here. So this is more like kitchen type of stuff, the stuff I use primarily in the kitchen. This is primarily bathroom and this is carpet and like overflow. Like I have some car cleaning stuff out there, which I might end up putting in the garage when Mike and I organize that. But this is just kind of like my wall cleaner, my allergen spray, carpet cleaners and things like that. So, oh, and then like my mop heads I put up there. And then these drawers are kind of nice for like extra sponges. Then I have like, you know, extra sponges, um, cleaning, all that extras. And then this is just a manuals. I had to like make some notes about how to use a washer and dryer since I'm just learning how to do that. Some vacuum attachments and then nothing in here right now, which is a-okay. I'm sure I'll find something to put in there. And that's paper towels and then laundry stuff. I do think my ultimate goal, I think for at least one of these cabinets down here. Oh, I do have laundry detergent down here. This is really nice because you um, you fill it up, you not have to put detergent in it every time. I've only filled it up one time since we moved in and it's been two weeks. And if you can guess, we've done a lot of laundry. So I tucked this stuff down here, like detergent. And what I would like to do, so my goal is to get rid of all of the, I mean, I could consolidate like all of that stuff into here. Um, but my goal is to start weeding down the amount of cleaning products I have and then use the one of these for maybe like when we go to Costco, we have like those big boxes. I don't know. We'll see. So either way, now I can actually clean the laundry room. I was finally able to wipe it down for the first time and I have a place to fold. I have this liner right here. I'm gonna plan on lining all of my kitchen cabinets. I just haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. Um, but I'm gonna line this and then organize this a little bit. Someone did message me and they said that they use these little like, they're like, I think the Scotch brand. They're kind of like the command strip type of things, but they're little stickies that she said that she put, puts them on the bottom of her kitchen liners so they stay put. They don't come till tomorrow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. It lays pretty flat as is, but I think especially in a place like this where you're getting and taking stuff out a lot, it'd just be a little bit better to have. So those come tomorrow, I'll add those later, but we'll go ahead, we'll line and restock. Take you where you've never been So I won't break your heart and I won't let you down So I think in the beginning, I, I think I said this in last week's video, but initially I got in the house and I was like, you're going to take your time unpacking, but I don't know if you can relate. Once we got in, it was about a week later. It hit me about a week and I was like, I am so tired of looking at boxes. I'm tired of stepping over boxes. I'm tired of like 
I felt like my back was hurting because I'd be like maneuvering around boxes in the laundry room and I just I got tired of it and then on top of that I mean I don't like messes and my kids would make messes and then we had these messes all over and I'm like I can't handle it so I just need things out of the boxes and at least somewhat in the proper rooms and it's been helpful because it even got to a point where I was like if I need something I just want to know where it's at like Avery ran out of hair ties and she doesn't use the same ones as the twins um, or she needed a specific pair of boots for school and I was like I don't know where they're at and I just got tired of living life like that so as long as things were unboxed and at least in the appropriate room then I knew where to go and I'm almost done um, I've kind of been filming it bit by bit um, so over the next couple weeks, you're going to see me unpack the entire house, every room. I'll be cleaning it. I haven't even cleaned any rooms. Like, I am so embarrassed to say this. I don't think I've cleaned a toilet since we moved in. And it's been two weeks since we moved in because I'm spending all of my free time unpacking. So I think I just need to take some time and figure out, like initially I was like, okay, let's get this organized. Um, like I'd had at the old house or, you know, find the organizational baskets or systems that will work for down here. But the difference here is we have that full laundry room. You know, we have so much room in there and I really want to utilize that for all of, or most of the cleaning supplies, except for the things that I almost use a daily. So this is the stuff that I use Obviously not every single day, but most days. Um, and I want to try to keep it minimal down here because the back hallway is right there and that's where all of the cleaning supplies are. So I think what I'm going to do is just continue to live, see what works, see what doesn't work, see what's annoying when I have to go back there and grab something. Just kind of see what makes the most sense. So eventually we will organize down here, but for right now, at least it's stacked and I have the main cleaning supplies that I use on a daily basis. So this is my little coffee bar area. Um, I guess I'm trying to get a little fancy with my coffee. I pretty much drink my coffee black. <laughs> That's all I've ever really done. Um, I do like Starbucks, but to be honest with you, I'm too lazy and too cheap to go to Starbucks. I mean, like if I, like today I went and volunteered at the twin school and I did stop and get Starbucks. I got like a tall Starbucks, um, but typically I'm too, I'll be honest with you, lazy and cheap to go to Starbucks um, most of the time because I'd rather just eat, drink my coffee at home than go out. But I got this Nespresso machine because my old co coffee maker kept going out. And so I asked for this for Christmas and I got it. And so this is like my little coffee bar. I do like iced vanilla lattes. That's my favorite from Starbucks. So I'm going to make my own. But I just kind of wanted to set up my own little coffee bar um, since I love my coffee. But I'm kind of dabbling in the whole espresso. I mean, I love espresso. I can drink it black. Like I can drink just like a shot of espresso um but I also like I said I'm trying to get a little fancy we'll see um but this was later in the evening Avery had basketball Mike's her coach so they were at basketball I had the twins upstairs playing in the playroom I had a movie on for them so I could finish up cleaning honestly at this point I was exhausted I did not want to clean um but I've been so focused or we and I guess in general have have been so focused on unpacking there has been no cleaning and I'm going to tell you, I have not cleaned a toilet. I don't know if you can hear me. I have not cleaned a toilet since we moved in. That is a confession. It's because every free moment we've had has gone to unpacking. Um, I haven't cleaned a toilet. I think I've vacuumed and mopped. I've ran my robotic vacuum and mop. So thank God for those, but I've only manually vacuumed and mopped twice, I think. So this will be my third time. Um, 
And so right now I'm just focusing on packing. So like last weekend we had nothing going on. Mike took Avery with a friend of his and his daughters. They went to um, Bowling Green. We went to Bowling Green State University in Ohio. That's where Mike and I went to college. The women's basketball game he took Avery to with, like I said, our friends and their daughters. So they kind of did that. But other than that, he's been with the kids. I've been unpacking and cleaning has just fallen on the wayside because the goal here is just to get everything unpacked as quickly as we can and then I'll focus on cleaning. So we're just surviving over here, not doing anything too crazy, but I have been filming all of the unpacking. So what I'm thinking is like, for example, I've already unpacked our bedroom. Okay. So I think when I throw that up, maybe next week, I'll probably this week clean the bedroom and then just combine that. So a little bit of the footage will be kind of like all over the place. Um, I've already unpacked our bedroom, but I'll throw that in maybe next week's, but then I haven't cleaned our bedroom yet. And I'll just throw that in with that video. So you get unpacking a bedroom and cleaning it as well. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm filming all of the unpacking. We did the basement. I, I still have to do the office and a couple other areas, but I'm filming it. I hope you guys are ready. There's so much left to do, but not really doing a lot of cleaning, just unpacking. Okay, so Mike was putting together the bar stools for me. Um, I got them from TJ Maxx. I'll have them linked below, but he was going to put them together and you'll, I'll show you what they look like in the daylight. I thought personally they looked way better. I mean, I still like them in the nighttime, but sometimes something that I've noticed is that, so a lot of people think our island is navy and it's not. It is a true slate gray. It is actually gray with a small hint of blue. Um, and then I know a lot of other people said, um, talked about painting the coffee table the same color as the the mantle in the living room the wood mantle but honestly in real life they're almost the exact same color and I notice on camera and in certain lights it almost like takes on like a darker or red tint they are the exact same color so I'm just saying is I think depending on the lighting and the camera angle or the camera or how you're looking at it, colors can look a little bit off, um, but the bar stools look way better in real life and in the natural light. But I'm going to show you here in a minute because I'm going to talk about the decor and something that I thought was pretty surprising. Okay, so it is actually the next day. I didn't get a chance to talk with you guys about it um, last night. Things got really crazy, um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like in the daylight. Don't mind Mike was folding laundry. Um, this afternoon, but I wanted to kind of show you what I was talking about. And I think it looks really, um, it's better to look look at in the daylight. Uh, oh, really quickly. There's the bar stools. They look a lot different, um, or I don't know. I think I like the color a lot better in the natural light, but I wanted to show that. So there's our bar stools. I think sometimes I tend to get a little tunnel vision. And so that's why I ask for suggestions because I can get really tunnel vision and I can't step back and just like take a clear look. Um, so that's why I, I ask for suggestions because you guys are looking at it from like a different angle. You're stepping back, you're giving suggestions. And I don't know if this is a, like the same situation. Like am I tunnel vision? Am I not liking it just because it's a change? Um, or do you agree? Does it really not look, I mean, it doesn't look bad there for sure, but I thought it looked way better in that corner. The only thing I can think of is with it being by the window, the window's open. And so it doesn't look so crowded. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, even if you guys are like, no, I think it looks fine over there. I'm probably still going to move it because I don't like it there. <laughs> um, but I don't know, like, even though I'm going to move it, I'm just curious, like what you guys think, because I just, it's the same distance to the wall to the mantle. So I'm just shocked. I don't know. 
I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. So again, just for reference. So yeah, I'll move that over there. And we'll also, I think um, this, I still think that looks a little too small, but I love the pompous grass. I think that's what it's called. I do really like that. So I may have to get a bigger base or maybe it'll be fine once I put something on the wall up here. But what I also, the other reason why I think it would be good to move this over there is because I do want something for our throw blankets. And I was thinking about like tucking a blanket back or blanket, a basket back in the corner. It would be a little bit more hidden because of the couch, at least from this angle. Like it's not, I'm not saying I need the basket to be necessarily hidden, but I just feel like it would look better kind of tucked away. Um, and hidden a little bit by the couch versus right there. Or I may put it somewhere else, I don't know. But those are just my thoughts right now. I'll probably move this back over, move the pompous grass over there, and then just let it sit for a while to kind of decide what route I wanna go and if I wanna hang anything. Um, and I'm still working on getting different color pillows. I think I need some bigger pillows to offset because a lot of these pillows are smaller and with having um, the higher ceilings, I think I need some bigger pillows. But at least we have some pops of blue. I really like this color of blue. It looks more navy here, but it's like a light coastal blue, which is my favorite. So at least that will give us some ideas um, on what route to go and maybe what other colors I can bring in. So I'm curious, just let me know if I'm crazy. <laughs>